so this is our cruise the G expedition so we are waiting for our bus to be ready so that we can use it to get into the port it's a secure port so you can walk into it freely um, okay if you realize our ship it's slightly smaller or it's much smaller than the vessel over here that is because there are some regulations on Antarctica tourism okay any ship that carries more than 500 passengers they are not allowed to land passengers on land okay so you want to be careful about that so book ships that carry less than 500 but at any one point of time only 100 people are allowed to be on shore so if you have 200 people or 300 people you have to do a rotation and that means lesser time on shore so i have deliberately booked a smaller ship which has only just about 100 120 passenger so that our chances to be on shore are maximized i mean you have paid so much right so yeah that's a little thing you will wish to note when you book your ship next time Welcome, Jaya. <laughs> we are boarding. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, we are four, You like it? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, that's it. Okay. Oh, wow, we have our G Avengers Thermoflask! And uh, we invite you in about uh, 15 minutes time at 5 o'clock in the Expedition Lounge which is located at Deck 4 for uh, our safety drill. Shortly after, our ship departs from Ushaya and we have a briefing session with our expedition team where they give a short introduction about themselves. As your general naturalist and zodiac driver, you're going to see me everywhere. I have spent uh, the last 12 years focusing on a personal study of marine ecology. Welcome to the expedition for Mars. Um, the bird nerd. Our room is on that tree. In fact, it's the last room here. So the passengers' rooms are over three decks. Deck 2, Deck 3 and Deck 4 So let me give you a cruise tour At Deck 6, we have the gym It's not big, but it's good enough for you to shed some fats that you have gained from the meals This is the Albatross dining room at Deck 5 so we will have our breakfast, lunch and dinner here. Um, it's open and free sitting because they encourage guests to interact with each other. Yeah, so pretty cool. At deck 5, we got the dining room and the polar bear bar. Polar bear bar will open in the evening after dinner where you can enjoy your cocktail.
here we have KTV and sometimes we have the cruise band Monkey Eating Eagles performing. On level 4, we got a couple of things. The biggest one is the lounge where we have our talks and briefing. And there's a 24 7 coffee and tea. Then just a bit down is the reception where you can buy Wi-Fi card or have any inquiries you can go over there. So this is the reception. There's a little small medical facility. It's down the hall there. Yep. The doctor works 8 to 10 a.m. and it's 6 to 8 p.m. Yeah. We have a phone booth here as well. I don't know, people will make call here in Antarctica to go to a computer room. Where you can use the Wi-Fi card. And then this is the library. Okay, the last thing we have here is the gear shop, the souvenir shop but they are only open in this three timing right after the mail so I'll have to come back later and then go back there It's the lounge and that's it That's deck that 4 for you We are at the gear shop right now the souvenir shop Got a lot of stuff to buy. So over at deck two, we have the mud room and the sauna. Mud room is where we will get prepared, wear our boots, put on our jacket, and up into the zodiac. So mud room is very hot. It's also the place where we can hang our wet gear after each landing to dry up. This is the sauna. Small but best place to go after your polar plunge. Now let's head outside. This is the aft, the backside of the ship. When we are sailing and if the sea is not rough, we will be out here trying to spot the whales and seabirds. These black zodiac boats that you see are used during our expeditions bring us on shore. At the front, we have the bridge where the captain and his crew navigates the ship. Lastly, this is the bow of the ship, the front. When the ship rocks very badly, the bow will be closed for safety reasons. Hope you guys have a good idea of how an expedition cruise looks like.